Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We have 9 to the power x plus 6 to the power x equals 2 to the power 2x plus 1. And we are looking for real solutions, not just integer solutions. We've done similar problems before. If I find them, I'll link them down below. So, how do we solve this problem? Well, we're going to go ahead and use a very common strategy for these kinds of equations. But let's go ahead and simplify 2 to the power 2x plus 1 first. So I'm going to go ahead and write it as follows. 9 to the x plus 6 to the x equals 2 to the power 2x times 2. And now this can be written as 4 to the power x. And so we can kind of write it as 2 times 4 to the power x. Great. We simplified it as much as we can. One thing that you should always notice with these kinds of problems, because they appear in competitions and some exams, 9, 4, and 6 are specially chosen. How? If you multiply 9 and 4, you get 36, and 36 happens to be 6 squared. Get the idea? Hopefully you did. Now let's see what happens. We're going to divide everything by the largest power. The largest power here is 9 to the power x. So let's go ahead and divide everything by... By the way, you don't have to do it this way. You can also do it differently. Now, 9 to the x divided by 9 to the x is 1. So that's 1. This can be written as 6 ninths to the power x. So x is common. We can just take it out. But 6 ninths can be simplified, right? into 2 thirds. So we can write it as 2 thirds to the power x. And this is 2 times 4 ninths to the power x. What's the relationship between 4 ninths and 2 thirds? 4 ninths is 2 thirds squared, right? 4 ninths is 2 thirds squared. Awesome. The reason why this happens is because of this. Make sense? All righty. Now, we're going to use substitution. Shouldn't be a surprise, right? We're going to call this something. What should we call it? How about a B? Let's call it B. Last time I think we called it C, and this time we're going to call it B. And this is going to give us the following. If that's B, then this should be B squared. So we get the following. 1 plus B equals 2B squared, 2B or not 2B. So let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. 2b squared minus b minus 1 is equal 0. Let's go ahead and check the discriminant. b squared minus 4ac. And that's a perfect square. Awesome. Nice. That means that our equation is factorable. And either trial and error or you can use the x method and factor it as follows. 2b plus 1, b minus 1 equals 0. And this gives us two equations. This is a quadratic, right? with real solutions. So b is either negative 1 half or 1. And what is b? What is b? Let's go back. b is 2 thirds to the power x. So that's an exponential. 2 thirds to the power x. And now you're like, what? This is impossible. No way. Okay. Well, if you're dealing with real numbers, obviously, this is not going to work. But if you are dealing with complex numbers, you can ln both sides and then figure out ln negative 1 half. I think in a problem we did ln i, and similarly by using Euler's formula, you know, you can write a polar uh, form into e to the power something, something, something. Anyways, you can do that. But we're going to look for real solutions. So that doesn't give us something real. So we're going to go with the second one. If you set 2 thirds to the power x equal to 1, come on, you know this, right? This means x is equal to 0. And guess what? This turns out to be the only solution. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the graph and finish up with that. So hopefully this is going to be a short video. All right, so what does the graph look like? We're dealing with the sum of two increasing exponentials and an other increasing exponential. So, when you have two increasing functions, you can't always tell where they intersect. But if you look at the graph, hopefully you'll be convinced uh, that they are going to intersect at one point, which is 0, 0,2, which means x equals 0 is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... 
拜。